Hello YouTube, this is Dutch Lancaster and welcome to another Germany strategy video for Axis and Allies Global 42nd Edition. I've nicknamed this operation Reders Rudel, named after the German Grand Admiral Erich Reder, who was later followed by Karl Dönitz. Uh, Reder had a um, a tactic for the U-boat, it's the German submarine, he named it the Rudel Tactique, it's a so-called wolf packs, for using uh, submarines to attack in a group on enemy convoys or even battleships. I will uh, do this turn by turn, getting uh, Germany into the Atlantic Ocean and we'll get back to you at the beginning of Germany's turn, round one. Germany, turn one. So they have 30 IPCs to spend. I'm spending on three subs and two tanks. These are my attack moves. Battle of France. Tanks coming from southern Germany, the plane coming from Poland, and the rest of the forces from Holland, Belgium, and western Germany. These are my attacks. Two subs going to season 106, two subs, two fighters, and two tactical bombers going to season 109. One tank, one tactical bomber from Germany and two infantry from Holland going to Normandy. Two strategic bombers, a fighter and tactical bomber, a battleship, a submarine and a fighter going for season 111. So no attack on season 110. And the final attack move, Yugoslavia. I uh, send one fighter from Slovakia, Hungary, which will go to southern Italy and all surrounding land forces will occupy Yugoslavia. I'm not taking Bulgaria in a non-combat move. I will leave that for the Italians. And I will, will take Finland with the infantry from Norway and bring in some additional forces with the transport to season 115. I believe that's a legal move. If not, please comment. So I'll get back to you at the end of Germany's turn. One. Welcome at the end of Germany's turn one. They were successful in seasons 106 and 109. UK decided not to scramble. They also decided not to scramble in season 111. Nevertheless, uh, one sub got sunk and the battleship was damaged. France was a success. Germany was kept left with all the tanks. And also in Normandy, uh, Germany only lost one infantry. On the Luftwaffe, they flew back to Holland, Belgium, and Western Germany. In Yugoslavia, obviously the Germans took it. And uh, the fighter flew to uh, southern Italy. The forces are moving towards Soviet Union. The cruiser went to season 113. Those are the two tanks that I bought and the three 
subs and some decent forces now in Norway those are 8 infantry and 1 artillery Germany makes 69 IPCs I'll get back to you at uh, the start of Germany turn 2 and uh, we'll briefly uh, show you what uh, the Allied forces and the Italians did. So the just for the record, the number of subs are now seven in the Atlantic. At the end of round one, it could look something like this: the Soviet Union they pulled back, built up some forces through the plains to Novgorod. The UK, they uh, did do the Toronto raid and flew the forces to Malta, leaving the fighter that came from London has to stay on the carrier. The UK brought some Pacific forces and took Ethiopia and they didn't know what to do exactly with those ships in 110 they can't attack the subs obviously because there are no destroyers so I've been pondering what to do with UK either go to season 91 go after the battleship without the Royal Air Force or the third option so it looks tempting to go after these with the, with the U-boats but I don't think the Germans will will do the, just that the Americans well they they did buy a lot of forces on the Europe side just to give an example of what could be landing here in CISO 91 after three turns the Soviet Union also blocked the passageway back to Germany so we'll just have to take care of that now won't we the Italians they, uh, they took care of the UK cruiser and the French Southern France they took uh, they got rid of the, the French boats and they moved towards Bulgaria also they took Tunisia and they moved into Alexandria so this is Germany turn two so they will be buying two minor production facilities one for Romania and one for Finland one destroyer in season 113 the two subs in season 112 and all the land forces will be placed in Berlin so I will designate the attack moves and will come back to you so these are the attack moves for Germany round 2 obviously they will uh, take out the Toronto fleet with uh, Luftwaffe coming from Western Germany as well as uh, Southern Italy they will move into the Soviet Union taking Bessarabia with one infantry those are five tanks, two artillery and ten infantry and Baltic States three infantry these are two subs and a tactical bomber going for the Soviet cruiser so the transport will make its way back to uh, season 113 
So I will resolve the combat and I will get back to you at the end of Germany turn 2. So here at the end of Germany turn 2 it could look something like this. It seems a bit daring knowing the Soviets are set up for a counter strike but I don't think they will uh, take on Eastern Poland uh, sitting there with five tanks, ten infantry, two artillery and three anti-air guns also knowing that Germany is set up for a counter strike themselves if the Soviets would do something like that uh, seeing the what are those six tanks and two mechanical infantry and all these men and the artillery that could strike at eastern Poland. So here I have a factory in Romania as well as in Finland. So they are all setting up for Barbarossa with some air support. Not only from these tactical bombers and the fighter, but also for possibly from the strategic bomber. So I got rid of uh, the Soviet cruiser. So the transport is uh, meeting uh, with the cruiser and destroyer. Also, there is a sub in CISO 125, so there is no national objective for the Soviets. some decent forces still occupying France. One thing I really urge the Italians to do in this case is sacrificing a transport by dropping a man at Gibraltar as well as Morocco and uh, attacking with these troops to Algeria with support from one fighter and the strategic bomber. Not only will Italy take the national objective for no Allied surface warships, but also for these ports, Gibraltar, southern France and Greece, which they will take with the six men, two tanks and one fighter. But also taking, well, not taking into account, maybe the UK could take Alexandria, obviously they, they could, but they, if they would not, then Italy will get all of Northern Africa, this is a national objective as well. So back into the strategy, the Redel, Redels Rudel, I'm sorry, um, these are two subs, two that's four, two that's six, seven, eight, nine. These will be coming back next turn, probably at season 112. So that's nine. So the buy for Germany, turn three, will be one airbase at Normandy, two subs at CISO 105, three artillery at Finland and two artillery at Romania. The two subs in CISO 105 which will make 11 subs in turn three together with the airbase uh, in Normandy, those planes, uh, two fighters, two tactical bombers, could go to season 91. If, for example, carriers are bought in season 105, together with the two strategic bombers and the destroyer and cruiser and the 11 subs, 
will make quite a formidable defense. And I'm not pressing down on the Soviet Union. I'm still either going to Ukraine or Leningrad with enough force and some more tanks going into Eastern Poland or Baltic States, for example. So that's my second Germany strategy video, Axis and Allies Global 40, second edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a, have a great day.